Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. In this episode, we're gonna go from this to this. So let's get started. Okay, boys and girls, this might be take 25 of this particular episode. I don't even wanna tell you what's been going on for the last 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, the biggest one initially was, you may have noticed that I had a lav right here that you could see. Now you don't, the wind has picked up. Second one is there was just so much ambient noise here. And then we just had to say, you know what, we're gonna go with it. There's your room tone. So here we go. We're gonna talk about nets today. And what are nets? Well, nets are kind of like neutral density for the world. We use scrims in front of lights. Uh, directly in front of especially hot lights to cut the amount of light that's coming out of that fixture without changing the color temperature. But nets are used in all different kinds of ways in the real world, outside and inside. We're going to primarily talk about, well, we're only going to talk about outside today, but I am going to show you a couple of nets that we would use inside and we'll save that for another episode. So this is a single net. Uh, it's just a single net and usually designated by the color green. And then we have here a double net designated by the color red industry-wide. And as their name implies, generally a single net is about a stop of neutral density and a double is two stops. It depends on the manufacturer, the density of the net itself. Now, when we're outside, we're generally using nets that are much larger. Today, we're kind of in that in-between space. And what behind me sits is a broken apart, the C47 book light kit. So usually it's together to create a book light with a swing hinge. We've taken those four foot by six foot frames, split them apart, and they're doing two different jobs. Number one, I'm using the half grid cloth that comes with the book light kit to just cut that sun that's coming from behind me. And then I am taking an additional fabric that I got from Westcott for that four by six frame, which is a double net and using that directly behind me. Because what we're using the net for usually is again to cut the amount of light that is falling on a subject or an object or between a subject and, or an object and some sort of generally background element. So in this situation with my camera system, we are set to, as a crew of two people, uh, six stops of ND and those clouds and things in the background were still blowing out. So what we did is we walked in this four by six double net and that is cutting that background again by about two stops. If I was gonna go for a wider shot in an environment like this, I would definitely go to a six by six or an eight by eight, and then especially if there were more people inside of here. So again, four by six with a double net behind me, four by six with half grid cloth kind of above me on an angle. Make sure you bag your stands because it with this wind picking up is just like having a couple of wind sails. And then just to kind of create a little bit of shape here, I've taken the DP kit with the floppy cutter and that's hanging to my left camera right. And uh, sure, I'd want a 12 by if I could have it. Now I've got a biplane going above me somewhere. Who knew? Lots of stuff happening here. But hopefully that gives you something to think about. I think that nets are essential to anybody's kit and they can be used very effectively even in small to no crew production. I would say that if you're going outside, you're probably gonna need at least a double net to cut down that background a little bit. Be really careful with nets, especially doubles or if you're doubling them up with the Westcott Scrim Jim Cine frames, you have Velcro on both sides. You could even do two doubles together but remember that it's at least two pieces of net back to back, sometimes more than that. And if it's at all in focus behind the person, then you can see more, and that is a big no-no and kind of ugly. And you also start to see the net itself. So try to create at least a little bit of distance between your subject matter and that net, and also throw it a little bit out of focus. We're shooting at a 2.8 today and we are relying upon, hopefully relatively successfully, 
on the dual pixel CMOS AF system in that C200. So there you go. There's an overview of using nets outdoors in production. Hold on. Just a little more room tone for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.